Well, hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Hut. I'm your host, Jack, and today we're going to be looking at, I wanted to just, I, I was working today on some different programming, and I downloaded PyCharm. Now, PyCharm is a is another IDE, and sometimes I get into this stuff and I start thinking, man, why, why do I put myself through this? You know, if you know one IDE and it's working for you, why would you put yourself through it and have to set up another whole IDE? Uh, or, uh, you know, individual uh, development environment. Okay, right? So an IDE. So anyway, so with the IDEs, this is, again, this is PyCharm. Okay, PyCharm is not uh, free. I can't, I found a free 30-day trial edition, and then it's like $99 for the personal edition, and it's a lot of money for the professional edition. So I like to stick with what I know, and I like to stick with VS Code. Right? VS Code obviously is from Microsoft. It's free. It works extremely well. I've been using it for years. I teach with it, and it just simply is a good uh, interface to work with. Well, what I came up with, and what I wanted to show you here was this, is up here at the very top, I opened this project up that I was working on, probably on my Mac, and right now I'm on a Windows computer. And you can see where it says Import pandas p-a-n-d-a-s uh, is not there okay so we can't find it the modules are not are missing and also there's a screen line here for pi simple gui because i was creating a graphical user interface for this program and i don't really have a whole lot of code in there for that right now but anyway so i was importing the pi simple gui so the reason i wanted to create this video for all of you and hopefully it turns out okay is I want to show you what would happen when you're looking at a program, you're working on somebody's program, they send you, uh, if they did a virtual environment, that's great because they'll send you the whole package and everything should be in there. But if they send you something and there's parts of it missing, what we have to do is we have to go down to our terminal window. Let me expand this up here a little bit. All right, so we're in our terminal window. So we're gonna type in here, pip3 install, and we're going to do P-A-N-D-A-S and hit enter. So what you're hoping this will do is PIP3 should go out on the internet, find what we need, Pandas, okay, the, uh, and Pandas is just, and you can see now it's installing that, that module that we need. And all Pandas is, is I'm using CSV files, so all Pandas does is allow us to work with CSV files and be able to read those back and, and different things on that nature. So that's why I need it for this particular project. And once this clears up here, it's collecting the final packages and uh, it's going to install those. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. There's going to be all kind of tech stuff coming out on this channel. This channel is going to be just a hodgepodge of technology related information for you. And it's going to be covering everything. I mean, we'll be going into uh, networks. We'll be going into uh, computers. I have a video that I worked on the other day. I still am cleaning it up a little bit. And it's going to be on basically um, just uh, installing a hard drive. So we're going to be working on that also. All right. It's still installing this bottom package here and we're going to pause this for a second okay now sometimes pip3 will come up if there's a new version release which there is there's 22.3.1 uh yeah 22.3.1 i have 23.2.1 installed so all you have to do is copy this command they give it to you here it's very easy to run uh, okay come on jack copy it again we'll use a control c and copy it and we'll just paste it right there and what you're doing, you're in, you're just upgrading the the pip uh, executable there, so you can uh, run that. So successfully uninstalled the old pip, and it's putting in the new pip. So that's very important. The next thing we're going to do here now is we are going to do pip three install. Now I'm going to install the pi simple GUI at the top here. So you see the package names that you're installing are exactly the same as what we're importing, and we're not seeing those. So we're going to fix this. So pi simple GUI, hit enter. 
and requirement already satisfied py simple gui packages is in here it's already created and it's uh, on the computer so that's good so at times what happens is and i did notice this when i did this with pycharm pycharm actually updated it right away and fixed everything in here because it's in a virtual environment this program that i'm running right now the base grades pi okay i'm working on a grading program is not um, in a virtual environment so it has to find these with the paths so the only thing we can do here basically is we're just going to save this i'm going to close it and then we're going to reopen it and see if it works out for us all right you would think i'd go back to the same way here's base grades right here let me just reopen that and we're going to open it this time we see PyCharm and python python visual code open it with visual code okay and let's see if it fixed it up here okay at that point we can see that it actually fixed it it got rid of the squiggly lines and all the modules are now installed that we need to be installed okay so I hope that this I hope that this actually helped you out there. Uh, if you're missing modules in Python, it's very easy to install those modules and get yourself back up and running. Folks, again, if you like this video tutorial, I'm trying to keep these as short as possible without a lot of uh, commentary in here. Uh, please click that thumbs up, give me that big uh, hit that or smash that subscribe button, as people say. I truly appreciate you uh, coming and checking out my videos and this new channel jack's tech hut thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you very soon i'll see you then bye for now